Well, hello everyone, my name is Carl, and welcome to another Ubuntu 16.04 server tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be covering the most requested tutorial on my channel, and that is an updated um, TeamSpeak 3 server uh, for obviously the newest TeamSpeak 3 server, as well as the newest version of Ubuntu, and I'm going to include an auto start script. Um, so that should hopefully satisfy everyone's needs because um, everyone's been asking for the auto start script since I released the first TeamSpeak 3 tutorial. So let's go ahead and begin, shall we? First thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your terminal and log in. And do a sudo apt git update. Excellent, now we, need to, now we need to download the TeamSpeak 3 client. So it's going to be wget http colon forward slash forward slash www.heyimjimmy.com forward slash ts3 dash capital O and we're going to name it ts3.tar.bz2 Excellent. Now we need to go ahead and unzip that so it's going to be tar dash v as in victor, x as in x-ray, j as in juliet, f as in frank space TS and then go ahead and press tab to autofill the rest. Excellent, you can go ahead and do a quick do a quick LS and you can see that uh, the TeamSpeak 3 dash server underscore Linux underscore AMD64 folder is now there. We're gonna go ahead and get, uh, change directory so CD. So just type in team and then tab and it's gonna fill in the rest there for you. And um, excellent. Now we want to go ahead and run the server ourselves the first time so we can go ahead and get the admin token as well as any of the, uh, the server admin query information. So it's going to be period forward slash ts3 uh, server underscore s. Go ahead and press tab. It'll autofill the rest. Um, after the sh, we'll put a space and then start. It's going to go and fire up. Um, you can see the uh, server query admin account if you need if you need it for any kind of like um, I know um, a lot of the um, server queries require the admin information and then the token you want to copy too because you'll need that to be a, a administrator um, on your server. You can go ahead and press Control C to get out of that. Uh, the server is still running. Um, you can test the server status by actually doing the same command except replacing start with status, and you can see that the server is running. Um, now what we want to do next is we want to go ahead and create the startup script. This way if the server reboots, TeamSpeak 3 automatically starts. Now a disclaimer here, um, doing this wrong can break your install, your complete Ubuntu install. Um, I've actually broken two installs trying to get this working, uh, but I actually got it to actually work now. There's a bug, I'll cover that when we get to it, um, but it does turn back on after the, the server restarts. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is go ahead and move over to another directory. So cd forward slash etc forward slash init.d. Now we need to create this, the actual file. So it's going to be sudo bim ts3. Go ahead and press the insert key so we can go ahead and start writing our script here. So it's going to be pound exclamation point space slash bin forward slash bash. Next line is going to be cd. Uh, forward slash home forward slash the username now your username is not going to be Carl whatever the account name you log into to use you're going to want to head and use that account name forward slash uh, team speak uh, three dash server underscore Linux underscore AMD 64 and the next line is going to be uh, period forward slash TS3 server underscore start script dot sh space start now make sure this is correct make sure your directory is correct the home directory you have it in there make sure you have everything there's no typos when you're done go ahead and press escape colon wq to go ahead and write it and save it now we need to do a sudo chmod it's going to be uh, plus x forward slash etc forward slash ts3 sorry about that that's going to be <laughs> init.d forward slash ts3 no big deal um, and then we need to go ahead and update it so sudo update dash rc dot d ts3 and we're going to go defaults now this defaults code is going to give us an error or a warning and that's fine we didn't 
we, there's some parameters we didn't put in the startup script, but we don't need them there. Um, so we can go ahead and ignore that. Um, and uh, that's it. We can go ahead and reboot the server. And um, you'll see that the server comes right back up without you ever having to do anything. Now, if you do do a restart and let the server start up on its own, when you run the status script, um, it will say that the server is dead. The server is actually running. It's just it doesn't have permissions to see it. Uh, but it is there, and you can test this by just simply rebooting the computer, or the server rather, and then logging into your into your TeamSpeak 3 server, and you see it's up. Uh, some ports to consider here if you're running this internally: 9987 UDP is the voice server. Uh, 10011 TCP is your server query. It's only important if you're using a third-party app to query the server. And 30033 is the file server, so you can do file transfers. Um, other than that, that's it. And um, Hope you enjoy this updated tutorial for uh, the new Team Streak 3 server on Ubuntu 16 with an auto start script. I have a bunch of other user requested videos coming soon. I'm going to try to knock one of these out once a week, I'm hoping for. It's been kind of busy here. You can see I'm in my shop. I've been kind of getting the business off the ground, so I've been, I've been a little bit lazy on the tutorials. But I do have a lot of suggestions. I've been writing scripts and uh, how to's um, in the docs to get things ready. And um, hopefully, we'll be able to move forward. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, show me leave me a like. Uh, if you have a, su a suggestion for a future video, subscribe. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.